Nearly 100 victims of the Marshall Fire gathered this afternoon in the Louisville area. The victims were all pet owners who lost their animals in the fire. And Denver 7 San Pena takes a look at this new memorial built to honor those lives. I had them for five years. Five years of friendship. They were Joy and Noel. Gone in a flash. My husband saw the house burning down on TV. Lisa Young's two furry family members lost their lives in the Marshall Fire. It was surreal. Really surreal. It's like, really did this happen? A pain Lisa still hasn't recovered from. I ended up doing e EMDR therapy for my cats because I couldn't get over them. Lisa's not alone. It's lizards and birds and fish and gerbils and all sorts of those, you know, lovely, lovely family members. More than a thousand pets were lost in the fire. A lot of people are still hurting and, and this will this will hopefully bring some closure for some people. Closure Louisville Rising Director Caleb Dickinson hopes to deliver. The Louisville Arboretum's really special. It's right in the heart of the fire. This sculpture is dedicated to the pets lost in the Marshall Fire. It looks a little bit like pet heaven there. The $30,000 project was unveiled Sunday afternoon. And it's just lovely. There's a bench and beautiful landscaping. Nearly 100 people gathered with their friends, families, and of course, pets. All to remember those lost. It's really hard, but I still think about them a lot. In Louisville, Sam Pena, Denver 7. And the sculptor recognized at the ceremony as well, Michael Garman. He is a firefighter who helped fight the Marshall Fire.